Once there was a young armadillo named Arthur who lived in a barn in Texas with his Aunt Helen. Arthur and Helen shared the barn with a family of bats and a commune of rats. One of the bats, Hank, was Arthur's best friend. Most of the rats were either too young or too old to hang out with Arthur and Hank, except for the angry big mouth rat named Don. Nobody really liked Don because she could never make up her mind. Whenever Arthur, Hank, or her, or her other friends asked her if she would like to go out with them, she would only answer that she didn't know. She said neither yes nor no. She would always shirk when it came to making a choice. One day, Arthur got tired of Don's indecision and told her that no one was going to care for her if she carried on like this. Arthur told her that she had no more mind than a blade of grass. One rainy day, the bats heard a great noise in the loft. The pine rafters were all rotten, so that the barn was rather unsafe. At last, the joists gave way and fell to the ground. The walls shook and all the bats' hair stood on end with fear and horror. Hank, the captain of the bats, decided this wouldn't do and he sent out scouts to search for a new home. Within five hours, the ten scouts came back with good news. Hank flew down to tell everybody that the scouts had found a stone house where there would be room and board for everyone. There was also a kindly horse named Nellie, a cow, a calf, and a garden with an elm tree. The bats flew down from the rafters to direct the move, but Hank put Arthur in charge of directing the smaller animals. Everyone crawled out of their little houses and stood on the floor in a long line. Just when they were about finished lining up, Arthur saw Dawn. He coarsely ordered her to stop and, of course, asked if she was coming. Dawn told Arthur that she wasn't certain. She told him that she was undaunted because no one really knew if the roof might come down yet or not. Arthur couldn't wait for Dawn to join them, so he made an about face and just marched everyone else off, leaving Dawn behind. Dawn stood and watched them hurry away. She thought to herself that she might go tomorrow, or maybe not. She didn't know. It was so nice and snug there in the barn. That night, there was a big crash. In the morning, some men, with some boys and girls, rode up and looked at the barn. One of them moved aboard, and he saw a young, big-mouthed rat, quite dead, half in and half out of his hole. Thus the shirker got her due.